Life with Belson. I'm your host, Belson. Today on the Belson Show, I'm having a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So don't forget to subscribe and like about that. I'm going uh, down here to look at this, that, and the other thing. So don't forget to hit that notification bell bar button. We'll see what comes about. All right. Well. Just so everybody knows, I got quite a few messages last night asking me why I removed a couple videos. I had to remove those videos because I was asked politely to remove them because of security reasons. So I apologize. Maybe later on down the road, they'll let me release the videos. I just keep in the archives in the old computer there and maybe someday I'll be able to let them rip. I didn't honestly mean to upset anybody. I looked on the internet before I released it and I seen that Nanacoke has all the demolition videos up. Maybe I just gotta wait until they're done. I'll get a hold of them after they're all done and see if it's all right. Why would Night. Gotta keep everybody happy, boy. My job, you know, works around that kind of stuff. So we don't want to get, uh, we don't want to get any bad names or anything like that. So gotta be nice to everybody, you know. Hey, okay? no problem. I can take that down right now for you. I apologize. So that's what happened there. If anybody's wondering, just want to let you know that. Why wouldn't I? But, but I was told by a little birdie somewhere. The only time to catch a train coming out of the tunnel normally is at 5 in the a.m. or after dark, middle of the friggin' night. So. We're gonna have to get up real early one day to get you a video of the train coming through the freaking tunnel. Holy, which sucks. Dicky. I don't normally come out for lunch like I used to, boys. I normally just keep on working, I do. I forgot my damn phone, for frick's sakes. <sighs> so guess what? I can't do what I come out to do. God darn it. Does anybody else do that? I was gonna go up to Cheeky Monkey, to be honest with you, and see if they have any 3D videos. I should go to the pawn shop, eh? See if the pawn shop has any used 3D videos? But not today, because I forgot my freaking wallet. Just cocked myself right over. I can't even get a drink. I'm gonna have to drink coffee with my peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Oh, well, hey, it's not that bad, eh? It could be worse. Yeah. I can get stuff cold later, I can. Freaking right, I can. Whew. Freaking heater works. Here, well. Well, there we go. We're all done our peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I just turned down London Road. We're going to head back to work now because, like I said, A, you forgot El Wallo. <laughs> Errol. Excuse me, pardon me. Another thing I got to do, remind me, boys, girls, peoples, I got to tighten that mirror up. I think that mirror's come loose because I can hear <laughs> when I'm going down the friggin' road. I've asked the wife to check and see if she can figure out what the hell's making the noise over there, but so I'm over here like this going, oh, yeah, it sounds like it's over there, but really I can't tell because I'm on the wrong, I'm on the wrong side. Does anybody else have a wife like that? You asked them to see if you can figure out where that noise comes from, and they say, hey, it's coming from here, and that's from over here. Or you say, hey, can you hold this board for me? And they hold the wrong board, and the other one falls. Or they say, hey, can you get me that uh, screwdriver over there? And they go over there and go into the drawer and get a totally different screwdriver than the one you said. Does anybody else have a wife like that? Or a husband like that? Leave a comment down below if you do. I sure the hell do. Denver over. Over, under, up, down, sideways. Holidays next week, boys. Two more days to go. Two more days and the old Belsos on holidays he is. So where are we gonna go? Not sure. Thinking about going to Niagara Falls to maybe get a little video of uh, of the falls. Let me know in the comments if you wanna go to Niagara Falls and see the falls, boys, even though it's all over the internet. And you can see everything you wanna see on Niagara Falls, but it's not from the dirty old rotten old stinky old Belsos. So let me know if you wanna see that and maybe we'll take a day trip. But I got a few day trips planned. One of my day trips were canceled. I'll have to do something else there. Other than that, I got a pretty free week. What the hell are these guys doing? There's two guys over here trying to unwrap an extension cord by pulling on it. Oh, I wish I had time to spin the camera around for this act. Oh, one guy's saying, hold on, stop pulling. The other guy's pulling. Oh, now he's got the other end and he's running. Frick, look. Oh, he's got it pulled. Must be dead. How you doing, boys? I just want to show you so you leave me, eh? <laughs> but it was funny. They dropped the cord out of the truck and it's all tangled up and they're just yanking on both ends. Now, uh, untangler, boys. Just pull hard. Everything gets off if you pull hard, boys. Or gets fixed or whatever. Take that however you want, I guess. Nothing like pulling her off hard, boys. Girls, babies. Another driving around video, eh? Wow, boys. Wow. 40 degrees out. It's not like the other day where it was 60. I'm telling you, it's not too bad out at all, so I might roll the window down. Taking a little of lunchtime air to uh, get the old blood flowing. You know what else I should do is go back and check that mirror real quick with a 10 mil. See if we can't tighten her up, boys. You never know what we'll find. Jim? Let's get the piss out of me. We're too far away. Uh-oh, what'd I do? Channel one. What? Copy that, over. Copy that out. I keep saying over, they'll reply to me. Careful. Copy out. Copy one, two, three. Copy over. Fuck. Oh, gosh. I could talk to myself all goddamn day. 
what's really going on. Gas is 90.09 and it's 78 at the reserve right now. 78, that's per liter. If you're from the U.S., it's cheap to get gas right now. I just filled the old Silverado the other day. $70 from MT Boys. I don't know it cost me $130. I don't know how much it costs you over there. In America. But I think it's $2 or something cents a gallon over there right now. I know it's a dollar or something. Like, leave a comment below. Tell me the gas prices throughout the world, boys. Leave your comments down below. So last night, I don't know if you guys have ever done this. Last night, I was laying on the couch. Cause I was just taking the last night off. Then on the couch, I thought to myself, I'm gonna search just Sarnia to see if there's any other YouTubers around the same subscriber count as me in Sarnia. I didn't find any. There's one guy that does pizza reviews, which is really kind of strange because he holds a camera crooked and it just looks all cocked over. So I wasn't really into that. But other than that, I didn't see any boys. Just leave your comments and let me know if you've ever done that kind of search in your area. Cause it is pretty neat to see what you can find. But I'm gonna grab a screwdriver here, 10 millage. Actually, I should pull it beside the bandage because my tools are right in the van. So let's pull it beside the bandage here. I'll do a door door adjustment here real quick. No, that's not gonna fucking work. God damn it. Just do it here. I'll do it right here, we will. Hi. <laughs> Hopefully you can see me, you're just kind of sitting there. But how to check your light or your mirror is to pull this fricker off, pull this foamage out, and you should be able to check it without pulling the whole door panel off. That's tighter than decks. Let me grab an open end for them because I can't get to them. I don't think it's a mirror, boys, because it feels pretty tight. That one, not so much. Found ourselves a Lucy we did. Maybe that was it, boys. Oh, uh, yeah. How come I can't get a fucking thing of a bar on that one? So one was loose, so I'm hoping maybe that's what it was. Now it won't jiggle around on me. In the old Chevy Silverado. I'll slide this back in here like this, and yes, there's one clip broken, but it was already broken, so don't even go there, Jim. Maybe that's what was squeaking. But anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this lunch with Milsev. We'll be back again someday, we will, to maybe do a little bit more talking to you. Friggin' right, we will. But hopefully you're just having a good day like I am, not doing anything I ain't doing, and uh, you know what to do for now. <laughs>